Women who are going through the menopause or the menopause transition um, years before menopause can actually have some benefit from learning on, from other women who have gone through the process themselves. Um, it's similar to any other topic that in the past was taboo. People didn't talk about urinary incontinence in the past. People didn't talk about sexual issues. People didn't talk about breast cancer. Um, and, and now that it's open, people can actually have a better quality of life because they can get more information, be proactive, uh, learn to treat and um, help their quality of life in terms of symptoms of menopause. Being a 50-year-old woman myself, I would say that you have to have these discussions about menopause symptoms with your family, and particularly your husband. I think that they may want to come to you and say, honey, you're being grumpy, you're being difficult, you're moody, you're whiny, whatever. And then certainly if you're waking up at night and having to change the sheets or change your pajamas, they're going to be aware of that too. So it does have an impact on your relationships with your family. I think humor is extremely important in talking about these things. And if your family keeps telling you, you know, this is really affecting your personality or how they interact with you, then you probably should listen to them. Um, my daughter has told me that I am a nicer mommy on hormones um, and I'm in my early 50s and my health risk is such that it's probably of no harm for me to be on hormones, but I think in the next few years that will change. I think you need to be in tune with your coworkers and your family and how you're working with all of them. It's very important. This movie was a documentary that brought up many issues about menopause. 88 minutes isn't necessarily a time frame to be able to bring up everything about menopause. So it's a good starting point, a good beginning for patients to get information about menopause. But the information that's presented here needs to be just the beginning and it needs to be springboarded into asking questions with your healthcare provider. Being here in a room with other women um, that are uh, my same age, I, I just think it's incredibly awesome. A lot of women stated, and the same thing happened with me, is that this topic is something that's not talked about. You know, my mother didn't talk about it with me. My aunts didn't talk about it with me. Um, the only person that I have had these conversations with is one of my best friends that's uh, several years older than me. And she would always give me warning signs about, okay, this is about to happen. You're at the age of this is about to happen. But to be in this room um, with a uh, room full of women and professionals um, all talking about menopause, I think was uh, awesome, very beneficial. I think um, they, t they mentioned talking about this topic as early as the age of 35. Had I had these conversations uh, back then, I think I'd be well ahead of the game and, and just being more informed. But leaving this room today, I am more informed.